Hepatic encephalopathy, or HE as I'll refer to it later, is a syndrome that primarily affects patients with advanced liver disease or cirrhosis. Uh, this is a syndrome that affects the uh, brain and the nervous system and it can present in a number of ways. It uh, affects the patient's memory or their ability to recall events. It affects their concentration or just their ability to think. Uh, it also affects personality and it can affect the motor system or, or a patient's ability to move. We still don't completely understand what causes HE. We know there are toxins that are developed and we think ammonia is one of those primary toxins. These toxins are uh, coming from the intestines and traveling to the liver under normal circumstances. The liver would then filter these toxins out or remove them. In a patient with cirrhosis, these toxins are bypassing the liver without being cleared and they travel to the brain. They then enter the brain cells and can cause swelling, which leads to the dysfunction that we see in patients with HE. The symptoms of HE can vary uh, dramatically. Uh, typically we see mild symptoms, things like forgetfulness, memory trouble, uh, difficulty concentrating. Patients tell me that they just have to read the same thing over and over again to understand it. They may have personality changes, become irritable or depressed or anxious or even paranoid. Uh, the other spectrum, the other end of the spectrum in this disease can be quite severe. We see patients who are grossly confused and disoriented. They don't know who they are or where they are. They may do very bizarre things which can shock family members. Uh, sometimes this disease can progress all, all the way to the point of coma where a patient is no longer responsive. Hepatic encephalopathy is diagnosed on clinical grounds, and it's also what's known as a diagnosis of exclusion, meaning we have to exclude other potentially uh, contributing factors that could be causing the patient's confusion or altered mental status. These are things like strokes or brain infections. Um, one of the things that physicians can do for patients when they come into the hospital is they can assess for something called asterixis, or the so-called flapping tremor, where patients extend their palms uh, towards the uh, wall, and we want to see how still they can keep their hands. Patients with hepatic encephalopathy typically, but not always, are unable to keep their hands still and often have what's called the flapping tremor. HE is treated uh, firstly by removing any potential precipitating causes of the event. These are things such as gastrointestinal bleeding, or simply dehydration, which can be triggered by the use of diuretics. Constipation is another common precipitating cause. Other options for treatment of HE include things like lactulose, which is a sugar that we drink and it's acted upon by bacteria in our intestines. This then traps ammonia and other toxins in the intestine and takes it out in the stool so it's no longer absorbed and cannot hurt the patient. Other options for treatment include antibiotics, and a commonly used one is rifaximin. This is an antibiotic that's not well absorbed across the GI tract, and so its function is limited to the intestine where it decreases the bacteria. And we believe it helps HE by reducing the bacteria that are causing these harmful toxins and other byproducts. And then finally, one should keep in mind that the ultimate treatment or the potential for cure for HE is liver transplantation. And so any patient with severe HE should be considered for liver transplant.